In recent times, SpaceX, under the visionary guidance of Musk, has made significant strides in its space endeavors. Their journey, while monumental, has not been devoid of challenges. On April 20th, during a notable Starship test flight, an explosion occurred four minutes after takeoff, prompting an investigation by the Federal Aviation Administration. This investigation aimed to find out the causes behind the event and to ensure the overall safety of future Starship missions, which is pivotal for SpaceX to receive its second launch license for subsequent orbital flight tests. Following their review, the FAA detailed 63 corrective actions SpaceX had to address. These encompassed everything from hardware adjustments to prevent leaks and fires to fortifying the rocket's launch pad. Between September 8th and 13th, the world's space enthusiasts were keenly focused on the fully stacked Starship 25 and its Super Heavy Booster 9. This period was the given launch window, and many were anticipating a groundbreaking launch. But the excitement was cut short when the FAA decided to withhold the launch license. This led SpaceX, in a surprising move, to destack the Starship from its booster yesterday morning. Many are speculating that this was in response to concerns about the flight termination system, which the FAA had emphasized. However, there might be other reasons. Hardware checks, concerns about how the Starship and booster are connected, or feedback from the FAA and SpaceX that needed system changes. It's also conceivable that specific safety protocols or drills needed showcasing or rehearsal in anticipation of the next launch. Amidst all this, Kathy Luters, a key figure in SpaceX's operations, provided some clarity on the potential timelines for the Starship's next launch under FAA's approval. Indications are that within a few weeks we might witness this event. Musk also alluded to this with a tweet saying, Moon soon shortly after a SpaceX video showcased a Raptor vacuum engine test designed to mimic long coast durations in space. Industry experts also provided insights into SpaceX's progress since the recent announcement. There was an undertone of optimism as they pointed out that the team is inching closer to the next orbital flight test of the much-anticipated Starship. However, the challenge of securing the official launch license remains. It's kind of funny, but right now the FAA's launch license seems to be getting more buzz than the rocket itself. However, even with the FAA's go-ahead, SpaceX will have another regulatory hurdle to clear. They would need a separate environmental approval from the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service before a launch. It's not clear how long this process might take. The list of 63 actions the FAA ordered SpaceX to complete spans a variety of concerns. They encompass everything from modifications in the hardware to prevent leaks and fires, to reinforcing the rocket's launch pad ensuring that debris and sand don't scatter everywhere during launch. The agency clarified, Wrapping up our investigation into the mishap doesn't mean SpaceX can immediately commence their launches from Boca Chica. Nonetheless, concluding this investigation does edge SpaceX closer to their ambition of seeing Starship soar into space. By the end of the week, Musk went online and simply asked, what are these 63 actions we're supposed to address, in a direct response to the FAA's directive? Since the Starship's inaugural launch in spring, the SpaceX team has been relentless. They've been engrossed in not just refining the Starship rocket, but also optimizing the surrounding launch pad infrastructure. One noteworthy upgrade was the water deluge system at the base of the orbital launch mount. This system is specifically designed to mitigate the damage, reminiscent of what was observed during the initial launch attempt. SpaceX engineers also introduced a hot staging ring to the apex of the Super Heavy booster. This strategic alteration was aimed to enhance the separation process of the first and second stages of the rocket during its ascent. On August 25th, the Booster 9 underwent its second static fire test. It was a moment of sheer marvel to witness the powerful spacecraft ignite its advanced Raptor version 2 engines. The test happened while the spacecraft was firmly perched atop SpaceX's renowned Starbase facility in South Texas. Following this, Musk took to X.com, previously known as Twitter, to share his excitement declaring the test a success. A subsequent confirmation by SpaceX revealed that 31 out of the 33 Raptor engines functioned for the full six-second duration during this test. This success story didn't manifest overnight. On August 6, the Booster 9 had its initial static fire test, which unfortunately culminated prematurely, lasting just 2.74 seconds. 
Additionally, four of its primary Raptor engines malfunctioned, either failing to ignite or shutting down earlier than planned. For SpaceX, the static fire test serves as the final dress rehearsal prior to a real flight. These tests offer an invaluable opportunity to evaluate the performance of the rocket and ground systems in conditions mimicking an actual launch. After such tests, the subsequent steps align with the test-as-you-fly doctrine, and recently Starbase employees congregated for a photo session at the launch site. It's kind of like when people snap a photo after finishing a big project at work. This photo session could be a hint that they've wrapped up all the fixes and changes to Starbase's Stage Zero. It seems like everything's set for Starship's next big flight in space with the equipment all good to go. The only thing they're waiting on now, the green light from the software side of things. You know how before an airplane takes off, there are a lot of rules it has to follow. Well, it's the same for rockets, but even more serious. No spaceflight can embark on its journey without the approval of the FAA, the governing body for skies. Securing a launch license is crucial. Given the relatively nascent nature of Starship, a meticulous assessment of its safety is paramount. SpaceX, acknowledging this, recently detailed its strategies to rectify issues encountered during the explosive test flight of Starship and its Super Heavy booster in April. The goal is clear, to facilitate another flight this year. As part of their strategic solution, SpaceX has implemented 57 out of the 63 proposed corrective measures. These include fortifying the launch tower and pad system and incorporating a flame deflector. The efficacy of these modifications has been affirmed through numerous successful tests. Now the ball is in the FAA's court. Many within the space enthusiast community have voiced their concerns, even frustrations, about the FAA's strict regulations. Their stance seemed justified when another statement by the FAA today garnered significant attention, shedding light on the potential second Starship launch date. The acting head of the Federal Aviation Administration on Wednesday hinted that the agency might grant a launch license for the SpaceX Starship rocket as early as next month. We're working well with them and have been in good discussions. Teams are working together and I think we're optimistic sometime next month. Acting FAA Administrator Polly Trottenberg said to reporters on the sidelines of a conference, Given the momentum with which SpaceX is moving, there's a collective hope that the FAA's decision won't be unduly prolonged, as has been the case in the past. If all goes well, Starship might be primed for a launch this very month. However, the space industry, known for its unpredictability, might still present unforeseen delays, spanning weeks or even longer. Yet, with each passing day, we inch closer to witnessing the colossal might of Starship piercing through the skies. So how far away do you think we are from the second Starship launch? Let me know in the comments. If you enjoyed watching this video and found it useful, make sure to subscribe to our channel for more updates. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.